Nearly 20 years into the war with Afghanistan, Wednesday's attacks on U.S. forces, in addition to the takeover of the country by the Taliban, has been a tough pill to swallow for some local veterans. I just don't understand how we're, we're moving backwards over the last 20 years. Jason Jaskula, a sergeant major with the Army Reserve, didn't serve in Afghanistan, but did serve in Iraq from 2004 to 2006. He's frustrated seeing the Taliban take over all the work that was put into Afghanistan. He thinks of the little girls whose future will be vastly different under Taliban control. If we left that community stable and that country stable, that they would be in a better place because those women you know, and children have grown up and they would be able to take over that country and, you know, educate further and do everything medical wise. And it just seems like all that is going to be for nothing. State Senator Robert Ort served with the Army National Guard in Kandahar. He's displeased with the administration's handling of the country's exit from Afghanistan. He said this in a statement. It has been extremely difficult to watch the devastating loss of American lives in Kabul. My heart breaks for their families and loved ones. This terrorist attack is a painful reminder that extremists are intent on killing Americans. Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News.